artists, political figures, social leaders, and a red tide of workers arrived at the Metal Workers Union to celebrate the entity's 60th year of existence, a union which led the fight against the military dictatorship and today is fighting against mass layoffs in the automotive industry. On top of being at the forefront of opposing the pension reform driven by President Jair Bolsonaro. It has been 60 years of a trade union that has historically fought for freedom against the military dictatorship and now working with social movements to promote housing, health care and security for a better society. In 1980, Lula da Silva's fight in the union resulted in his imprisonment by order of the military dictatorship. The union's premises were then occupied by people who supported the regime, Many years later, the same building was where Lula da Silva took refugee before being forced to hand himself over to federal police in Curitiba to comply with the prison order issued by then-judge Sergio Moro, who today is the justice minister as part of Bolsonaro's administration. Thanks to President Lula, the status quo started to be questioned. Laws started to be questioned and unions became common. It's very important to commemorate 60 years of this union. During these times, as President Lula has once again been incarcerated by a judicial dictatorship, because he is a prisoner without any evidence against him, there is nothing to be held against him, but he is imprisoned through lawfare. A letter written by Lula in prison was read during the event, in which he recalled all the social struggles led by the union and assure his supporters that he has faith they will meet again, because the people deserve a better and more fair Brazil. We needed to grow in numbers and show what a great leader Lula was. He always was a leader for this union and for workers. And when he was a president, he always was looking to improve the conditions of the working class. He is unfairly incarcerated, and the past 60 years of this union symbolize a fight that is emblematic of Lula as well. Recently, Lula's lawyers have presented a motion in the Supreme Court requesting that the former president serve his sentence from home and that a number of accusations against him be thrown out, given the lack of evidence.